good afternoon to all of you myself professor nv arpe from snd college of engineering and research center area now uh, today we are discussing the new topic of course emi that is electrical measurement and instrumentation now today we will discuss the new topic that is oscilloscope in that the course outcome of the syllabus there are six course outcome of electrical measurement and instrumentation course out of that the this unit oscilloscope and transistor satisfy the fifth number course outcome that is use of cro for measurement of various electrical parameters importance of transistors their classification selection criteria and various application and various application these course outcome which will be fulfilled by using this unit that is fifth unit oscilloscope and transistors that is this is the syllabus of uh, unit number 5 oscilloscope introduction various parts front panel controls use of cro for measurement of voltage current period frequency phase angle and frequency by lithium pattern introduction to digital storage oscilloscope then transistor introduction classification type Resistive, inductive, capacitive, and basic requirements of transistor. Again, pressure measurement for pressure measurement. Various transistors used. This will be studied in that. This will be studied in that fifth. Sir, what is oscilloscope? The so oscilloscope. Previously, it will be. it is so called as oscillograph it is so called as oscillograph and informally known as a scope r o r oscilloscope c r o for cathode ray oscilloscope or c s o for more modern digital storage oscilloscope is a type of electronic test instrument that graphically display varying signal voltage means a uh, oscilloscope it is it also called as oscilloscope that is oscilloscope also called as cathode ray oscilloscope cro or also called as digital storage oscilloscope that is dso it is a type of it is a it is oscilloscope which is used for test the instrument test the instrument that is or to test the measure uh, instrument and and find the voltage find the voltage that is this will be changes with respect to time or it is also called as ac voltage output ac voltage cro is used to display measure and analyze various types of waveform and other phenomena in electrical and electronic circuits cro is used for display the waveform first display the waveform measure the quantity measure the quantity of voltage or current voltage or or current and also analyze analyze suppose there are two waveforms given then by using analysis uh, we can find the time period of uh, this waveform frequency of waveform again magnitude of waveform again phase angle phase difference between the two waveform this will be also analyzed by using cro by using 
CRO. CRO is a test instrument which allows an individual to plot and view two dimensional graphs of electronic signal. Means it is also used, CRO is also an instrument which is used to plot or to show the graph that is two dimensional graph that is suppose we take the voltage the variation of voltage with respect to time with respect to time it is that is the CRO is an instrument which is used to plot the two dimensional graph this is our basic of oscilloscope that is the definition of oscilloscope understanding the CRO panel this is a CRO CRO panel in that CRO screen first one is CRO screen on that screen the output waveform the output waveform of any signal which will be shown on the CRO screen on the CRO screen. Next, these are three readings. First one is CH1, CH2, and TB. Again, there are two channels. This will be shown by the red line, these red lines. First one is reading of channel one in volts per division. In Volts per division. Channel 2 is 1 volt. That is 2 volt per division. Time base is 1 into 10 dash 2 or 1 millisecond. 1 millisecond. Means suppose the, the input, the input or the output of a function generator which is connected to the channel 1 of the CRO then the, the output of function generator that is AC waveform which will be displayed on the screen and this will be adjusted this will be adjusted by using channel 1 controlling circuit by using channel 1 controlling circuit in that the, the controlling point is time per division knob volt per division knob horizontal displacement vertical displacement these are the knobs which is used for controlling the waveform is used for the controlling the waveform. This is your volt per division knob. This is your time per division knob. This is your uh, vertical vertical displacement knob. This is your uh, horizontal uh, displacement knob available. This is the these four knobs are used for controlling the waveform. After the, all the controlling operations, we take the reading. We take the reading on the CRO. That means this will be, uh, this is a, suppose we take this waveform. This is your middle line. This is your X and this is your Y axis. The magnitude of the voltage the magnitude of voltage which can be measured by using the division the number of division that is from x line that is one in upper and one in downward direction means number of division is one and multiply volt per division that is suppose five volt per division knob is knob position is five volt per division then this voltage output, this waveform 
having voltage 1 into 5 volt per division 1 division into 5 volt per division that is your 5 volt 5 volt your power and the time period and measure the time period to complete the one cycle to complete the one cycle that is your two division that is your two division sorry two and a half division 2.5 then 2.5 into volt per uh, sorry time per division reading take the time per division reading and then by multiplying both, we can find the <coughs> time period to complete the one cycle, the time period required to complete the one cycle. And according to that, we can find the frequency of the waveform. This is your CRO channel. Next, cathode ray oscilloscope. It is an electronic equipment which gives a visual representation of signal waveform. It gives a visual representation of a signal waveform. Amplitude of electrical signal like voltage, current, and power displayed as a function of time. Displayed as a function of time means the electrical uh, voltage suppose voltage signal which will be shown with respect to time means the voltage we have formed, it will be varied with respect to time this will be shown on the cathode ray oscilloscope for its operating it uses the properties of cathode rays which are deflected in electric and magnetic fields and use a spot, use a spot on a fluorescent screen. Means, suppose a, at the time of operation, the cathode rays, which will deflect in electrical and magnetic field and give the spot use a single spot use a single spot like so this like that single spot which will be generated on the fluorescent screen on the fluorescent screen of cathode ray oscilloscope the main building block of CRO that is vertical amplifier Delay line, trigger circuit, time based generator, horizontal amplifier, CRT, and power supply. These are the main building blocks of CRO. This will be shown on that, shown in that uh, figure. Suppose the AC supply is given to the vertical amplifier. Again, delay line. Again, this will be connect to the trigger circuit. Positive and negative supply of uh, to the CRT. That is cathode ray tube. Time based generator. Horizontal amplifier. Vertical deflection plate and horizontal deflection plate. This is your CRT, cathode ray. So this is your block diagram, main block diagram of CRT, cathode ray tube. This will be discussed on, this will be the, the function of each block will be discussed on next lecture. So stop here. Thank you.